Ooh, no fap. Transmutation of sexual energy. Semen retention. Seriously? Really? Is that, that what we're getting excited about? Not ejaculating these days? Come on, guys. I thought you were here to learn how to have better sex and more sex. Not less. I'm Sterling Cooper, award-winning X-rated film star, former high-class male companion. This is my YouTube channel. Welcome. Okay, everyone is talking about semen retention these days. They're talking about NoFap. They're talking about the transmutation of sexual energy. And they're asking me about my opinions on this all the goddamn time. So this video is for all you bastards who keep asking me about it. So listen up and pay attention. So let's start with the things that I actually agree with in regards to NoFap. Excessive masturbation can kill your sex drive, it can kill your libido, it can kill your energy levels, it can kill your discipline. As a man, I do not recommend excessive masturbation, especially to pornography. And this might seem a bit counterintuitive coming from somebody who actually does that for a living. Well, look, the whole point of this channel is to help you guys live a better sex life and I'd be doing you a disservice if I was lying to you and telling you that excessive masturbation, excessive pornography consumption is fantastic for you. That's just not the case. So in that regard, I actually agree with some of the tenets of NoFap. Generally, the concept of transmutation of sexual energy is that by not masturbating, you give yourself more discipline, more energy, more sex drive, so you can accomplish bigger and better things in your everyday life. So the good thing about not fapping all the damn time is that you can channel what you might call sexual frustration. You can channel that energy into hitting on women, heaven forbid, actually pursuing women, texting more Tinder dates, setting up dates, trying to close more. These are all great things that are pushing you out of your comfort zone, pushing you in the right direction, pushing you to be better. The other beautiful thing about this concept of transmutation of sexual energy is that you can take that energy, that sex drive, that natural male drive, and you can channel it into things like your business, like the gym, pursuing other goals in your life instead of wasting away that vitality that is inherently a part of being a man, instead of wasting it away into a tissue. Now here's the problem with the whole NoFap semen retention thing in particular. The semen retention part is what I have a problem with. It's when guys aren't having sex. They're not ejaculating during sex. They're not coming, they're not orgasming during sex. Which implies to me that they're not having sex. Or they're deliberately giving themselves blue balls in the act of sex and not ejaculating in the act of sex. And here's a couple of reasons why that might be a problem. One thing you should be aware of when you're doing semen retention if you're not ejaculating during intercourse with a lovely lady, is the prostate. You've got to be careful that you're not causing damage to your prostate by giving yourself blue balls for so long. One of the things that should happen if you are retaining your semen and you're not actually having sex and you're not masturbating is you should actually have wet dreams, to be perfectly honest. You will probably find that if you do semen retention for long enough, you'll actually start having wet dreams again, even as an adult, where you're sort of having an erotic dream and then you just happen to ejaculate and at the end of it and then you wake up with sort of wet pants. Hooray! Semen retention. <laughs> but at the end of the day, show me any really successful high value guy, a millionaire, a boxer, like a professional MMA fighter, a rapper, an NBA player, uh, a musician of any kind, like a minor celebrity, a YouTube star, a Hollywood actor. Show me anyone who is a high value man who is doing semen retention, AKA not ejaculating in or on their woman. Show me anyone. You can't, there aren't any, okay? So what you should be doing is yes, not fapping, but at the same time, you should be having sex and ejaculating on as many beautiful women as you possibly can, because you've only got one life, so you might as well live it. And if you want to get the most out of life, you should be having lots of fun in the bedroom. So watch this video right here, where you can learn three ways to tease your woman correctly.